Hi, welcome everyone. In this lecture I'm going to talk about a simple electronic circuit that can differentiate a voltage. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean uh, some black box, some electronic circuit where I apply a, an input voltage VI and what comes out the other end is some constant times the derivative of that voltage. Okay, so it's, it's, it's carrying out the mathematical operation of differentiation. So how can we do that? Well, it's not that difficult. It just involves a single capacitor and a single resistor. So let me draw the circuit, the magical circuit that'll do this trick. So what we have is a single capacitor with capacitance C and a single resistor with resistance R. The input voltage VI I'm going to apply across these two wires. And the output voltage V0, which is going to be the derivative, is coming out here. So all I need to do is show that V0 is the derivative of that. Okay, a couple of things to note. One is I'm going to assume the current flowing through here is I, and the voltage across here is VC. Okay. Now I know that the input voltage will be the sum of the two voltage drops, so that's V0, VC and V0. Now I'm going to use Ohm's law and the capacitance law to substitute these VCs and V0s and change them into something else. So the first thing to note is that if the current going through the resistor is I um, and the voltage is V0, then I know that V0 equals R times I. That's just Ohm's law. And I itself is the rate of change of the charge. Okay? Now let me rearrange this slightly because uh, this is going to be important later on. I'm going to rearrange it so that what we have here is V0 divided by R. Okay, that's just another way of expressing it. This is an important relation which we will need later on. Now, what about uh, VC? Well, VC, we have to remember that the charge that accumulates on the capacitor C, so the charge that accumulates on the capacitor C, Q, is C, the capacitance, times the voltage across. That's, v, that's applied to that capacitor, that's VC. Okay. So I'm going to rearrange that so that um, in fact, I'm going to differentiate with respect to... Yeah, I'm going to rearrange that so that VC equals Q divided by C. So now I'm going to substitute this one, this term, and this term into this equation. So let me do that. So VI... Let's go back to a different color. VI... Oops. VI equals VC, which is this term here. Q over C plus V0, which is this term here, and I'll just write it out as D, DQ by DT. Okay? Now I'm going to make one assumption. I'm going to assume that C and R are quite small. If that is the case, I can then also assume that the first term is much bigger than the second term. So much so that I'm going to assume that VI is roughly equal to Q over C. All right? Now I'll rearrange this and then dif and differentiate with respect to time. So I'll rearrange it so that I get Q on one side. And I'll differentiate with respect to time as well. Equals C times D V I D T. Now, now this is where we go back to the uh, this term here. Okay, so remember that's the DQ by DT equals V0 over R. That's, this is the same one here. So I can substitute that in V0 over R equals C times D V I D T. Okay, rearrange it so that I get then finally I'll bring the R over to the side. I'll do this in red because this is the final result. Equals R C times D V I. And that's our result. In other words, V0 is proportional to the derivative of V I. So that little R C circuit differentiates V I. Um, there's only one thing t only I mean this is not a bad little circuit. Um, the only thing it does assume is that I'm not pulling out any current. Okay? The minute I do that, of course, everything changes. Uh, the output voltage will change. And then the approximation uh, is no longer very good. So this assumes, then, that the voltage, that the current I'm drawing out of here is very small, in fact, negligible. And uh, it's one of the main um, problems with this little circuit. But nevertheless, if you can do that, this little circuit will actually differentiate a voltage.